today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into an Armin Kett bundle. So this was actually the set that I started Magic with. So I'm very excited about it. So there is all the goodness in here. Let's get cracking. It's been a while since we've opened any Armin Kett. I think the last time we did, we pulled something pretty crazy. And for you regulars or people who play it at this time, you probably know what that was. Alright, so let's get this open here and get to cracking. Uh, we won't bother with the booklet or anything, we've seen that before in previous videos. Alright, so, oh, but we do need to have our lucky spin down, so let's take a look. There is the set symbol. We're going to roll a lucky 7. 17, close enough. We have... 10 packs of goodness. Let's get cracking with Armand Cat. Or Armand Cat, as the uh, case would be. Alright, so we'll boost that loading and tad. We have Pathmaker Initiate, Mighty Leap, Ancient Crab, Desert Ceridon, Colossipede, Scarab Feast, Winds of Rebuke, Binding Mummy, Dissenter's Deliverance, Cartouche of Strength. And Uncommon's Bone Picker, that was pretty good back in the day. Ronas's Monument, Avon Wind Guide, and Hazaret's Favor is the rare, along with a Plains and one of these Punch Out cards. On to the next. So, if you're not familiar, Armin Kett and Hour of Devastation had the so called lottery cards, the masterpieces, also known as the Armin Kett Invocations. So that's what we're looking for today. We've got Forsake the Worldly Seeker of Insight, Quarry Hauler, Wonder in Death, Bitterblade Warrior, Nef Crop Entangler, Cartouche of Ambition. I remember you used to be able to stack a whole heap of cartouches. That was cool. Shimmer Scale, Drake, Cradle of the Accursed, Faith of the Devoted for the Uncommons. It's my mate, the Croc of the Crossing. Awesome. Seraph of the Suns. And Naheb the Worthy is the rare, along with a foil illusory wrappings and a full art swamp and an ad. Okay, so the full art lands, I forgot they were even in this set. So, what is your favorite full art land? Are you a fan of the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty or something else? Let me know in the comments. Okay, next we have the Cartouche of Solidarity, Cartouche of Knowledge, Brute Strength, Shed Weakness, Unburden, Cradle of the Accursed, Floodwaters, Stinging Shot, Wasteland Scorpion, Electrify, and Uncommons. We have the Watchful Naga, Lay Bare the Heart, Edifice of Authority, and Harsh Mentor. That was another awesome card back in the day. And a forest and zombie token. So they had all sorts of zombies in this set. Uh, I think a lot of times they were looking like mummies. Uh, next we have Desert Ceridon. Forsake the worthy, seeker of insight, wonder in death. Greater Sandworm, Scribe of the Mindful, Supernatural Stamina, Stinging Shot, Magma Spray. In Oketra's name and True Heart Twins for the Uncommons, Cryptic Serpent, Decimator Beetle, and Glory Bringer. Yes, I love this. Get a whole playset of these dudes and go to town. That was fantastic. And a Mountain and Warrior Token. So, did you play Magic back at the time of this set? And what did you think? I know a lot of people hated the set. Others like me absolutely loved it. Uh, the Egyptian theme really got me. We've got Tormenting Voice, Winged Shepherd, Illusory Wrappings, Ornery Kudu, Miasmic Mummy, and these uh, jackal-headed things are hilarious. Inno Ketch's name, Gustwalker, Blazing Volley, Tarcrop Elite. Floodwaters, and time to reflect for the Uncommons Sensor. Spring to Mind, so they did have the split cards there. 
and Champion of Ronus. So you had a whole heap of different gods, Oketra, Ronus, and others. Uh, Kefnet on the playmat here. We've got a Swamp and Punch-Out card. And yeah, there's some uh, interesting lore here. Poor Kefnet. Uh, you'll have to read that to find out what happened there. But uh, yeah, pretty brutal stuff. You got uh, Nicole Bolas coming back in Hour of Devastation. Here we have Manticore of the Gauntlet Wing Shepherd Essence Scatter. Desert Ceridon, Haze of Pollen, Festering Mummy, Delightful Winds of Rebuke, Final Reward, Dissenter's Deliverance, Cartouche of Strength, and Enigma Drake. This was a fun one. You stuff your graveyard and really pump it up. Vizier of Tumbling Sands, Trial of Zeal, and a Mythic. Yes, Bontu the Glorified. So we've got a God Pool, we'll sleeve that up in a second, and an island with the rather mysterious horns there, and an insect. I mean, everybody knew what was coming when they saw those horns, they're like, uh, Nicole Bolas involved in this somehow. Okay, so we have four packs left, one Mythic, I mean, any Mythic out of a bundle is awesome. So let's see if we can pull another, we have Fling. Anointer Priest, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Cartouche of Zeal, Haze of Pollen, Festering Mummy, Evolving Wilds, Impeccable Timing, Hyena Pack, Horror of the Broken Lands, and Warfire, Javelinier for the Uncommon Zoketra's Attendant, Blood Rage Brawler, and a Split Card, Failure to Comply. All right, and an island, and a zombie token. Three more packs. So the chances, honestly, of pulling a masterpiece are pretty slim. Although we did pull one out of a pre-release pack before. I think it was Hour of Devastation, so it is possible. We've got Illusory Wrappings, Manticore of the Gauntlet, Winged Shepherd, Essence Scatter. Festering Mummy, Quarry Hauler. What? Upside down, back to front card. Okay. Not sure what's happening there. What was it? Uh, we have Luxor River Shrine. How many? Okay, so I guess we're doing things back to front then. So we have a Hooded Brawler. And what else? Hyena Pack. Is unexpected and now we're back to normal splendid agony so the machine went crazy and then it fixed itself at the uncommons we have nest of scarabs embalmers tools oketra's attendant and dusk till dawn is the split card along with a planes and a worm token i was sort of hoping that uh Packaging snafu there would mean we'd get a masterpiece, but no such luck. Just two more packs to crack. We've got Hecma Sentinels, Manticore of the Gauntlet, Supply Caravan, lots of camels in the set, Essence Scatter, Shed Weakness, Doomed Dissenter, Pursue Glory, Unwavering Initiate, Trespasser's Curse, Final Reward, and Gate to the Afterlife. This was the uh, God Pharaoh's Gift deck card. That's right. Yep, that was awesome. Sixth Sense, Shefet Monitor, and Avon Mind Sensor is the rare, along with a Forest and Punch Out card. And we have one more pack to crack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And one of these days I'll get the pack off of there. And let me know in the comment section, are there any other bundles or fat packs you would like to see open on the channel? Let me know. Final pack magic, we have Illusory Wrappings, Spidery Grasp, Blighted Bat, Gust Walker, Supernatural Stamina, Magma Spray, Decision Paralysis, Scribe of the Mindful, Honed Kopesh. Hepatra's Mark for the Uncommons. Stir the Sands. That is delightfully disgusting artwork. 
Honoured Crop Captain and Harvest Season is the rare along with a Foil Magma Spray and a Plains and Tar Crop Skirmisher Token. So that wraps it up. I think we did pretty well. Got a nice Mythic God Pool there. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.